Good evening, friendos. It's time for Quest for Semi-Glory. Saturday, grab bag. Uh, we're gonna do a little LTTP rando today. Um, we spent the past four grab bags doing that La Mulana rando, which ended up being a lot of fun. But, let's get back to something we can actually do in one sitting. <laughs> as fun as that La Mulana rando was, it taking like 15 hours was maybe a bit much. Um, but we should be able to knock this one out in less than three. I hope, uh, depending on how the seed decides to treat us. So let's just go ahead and get started. This is going to be normal open key sanity with randomized crystals, so random number of crystals to get into Ganon's tower, random number of crystals to actually uh, hurt Ganon himself. Um, so let's go, let's go. Three, two, one. Go, 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 go. All right, let's go. Let's go, we're playing as Yoshi. Because it's fun and cool. All right, well. No heart container to start. That's pretty good. A little bit of extra health to deal with. Oh, nice. His carrying... <laughs> his carrying sprite is actually a little bit adorable. Amazing. Let's see what we got on the tree pole. Single ass rupees. Kind of useless. Not even a goodly amount of money. Be able to use. Another heart container from Uncle. Okay, so health. Health is good. Sir, give me a bomb drop or something. No, of course. Oh, hey, there's three bombs. Very good. We'll help us out with our Kakariko run here. Ether in Sanctuary. Interesting. Interesting. Um, not terribly useful. I don't have a sword to actually do anything with it. So whatever. Well, we'll do our best. I guess we've just got pretty much the crab drop. And then that's pretty much the last thing we can check. You know, the tree pole is already uh, single roots. Oops, well, we're not getting that crab drop. <laughs> Oops, threw that bush the wrong way. Well, no matter. Let's see what we got on Lumberjack Ledge. Piece of candy. Don't care about that. Totally worthless. Certainly not worth the five and a half to six minutes it would take to. Uh, be egging him to go get that. Wouldn't mind seeing the boots early though. That'd be okay. All right, let's see what we got for crab drop. No, oh, maybe. Hearts. <laughs> oh boy. All right, sir. Excuse me, sir. Okay. <laughs> All right. So not not a good tree pull. Not a good crab drop. Nothing good on Mushroom Spot there. How about in the hideout? Got a bottle with the bee. Looked like just a normal ass bee, so that's not even good for 100 rupees. Unless... Oh no, that is that a good bee? Hold on a second. That might be a good bee. Hmm, okay, well, that'll be worth 100 bucks then. Oh, also I turned on the item quick swap as well, and I made the menu instant because, you know... We may as well just do that. Save ourselves a little bit of time. So we can just swap items on the fly without having a menu. It's pretty nice. Uh, that does rely on me knowing what my item menu looks like, which is uh, probably not guaranteed by any stretch, but yeah, It'll save us a little bit of menuing time, perhaps. Okay, into Blind's Hut we go. Five items here. First one is a compass. Eastern. We do. Small key to Castle Tower. <laughs> Small key to Skull Woods. And wow, lots of keys. Small key to T Rock. Alright. Not terribly exciting. And a burrito to Ice Palace. Again, not terribly exciting. I would have preferred some equipment from the start here, and not just a bunch of keys and maps and compasses. But, can't always get what you want, so... 
Oh well. Fire Rod is extremely helpful and cool, thank you. Small key to these, piece of candy, and a burrito to t -Rock. Fire Rod's nice. Fire Rod is extremely good. Um, I believe this should be a good bee, so hopefully he'll be like, oh, thanks for the money. Yeah, all right. Then we can buy the shovel for him for that money he just gave us. All right, well. Not terribly exciting there, either, but it's something. Oh, well, it would really help if I toss the bomb in the right spot. Ten arrows. Terribly exciting there. You don't really have enough magic to use that uh, fire rod at all, either. But, we do have our first bottle already, so Sick Kid is definitely a thing. More bombs. Thanks, buddy. Ah, uh, that kind of sucks, because I'm probably just going to buy a, a full set before we leave the village anyways. Okay, Brian. Not super exciting there, either. I guess, well, we're not, this isn't a, the worst start I've ever had, but it's not exactly the most exciting either. It's in the library today. It's up on that top shelf. 20 bucks. Not super good. Uh, you know what, let's go for race game just immediately. We're not even going to bother checking first. Good old key sanity rules active. This is almost certainly going to be something I would want to grab anyways. Probably a key or something. I would be okay with anything even more useful than that. Dope! Ten arrows. Boo. <laughs> Boo earns. Boo earns. Alright, well, we've got the shovel. We may as well hit dig spot before we go. Then I might not even be worth saving and quitting out, honestly. Hey! I'll poke the ocean. What do we get for our early shovel? Piece of candy. Nope! <laughs> That's a big ol' nope there. Alright, well, not terribly exciting here. Get, oh, man, we got one fitty fitty bomb drop there. That's good. Kind of hit us out the rest of the way. We're not going to be able to get through down there, so we're just going to walk around. I bet saving and quitting would have been about the same amount of time. Looks like the guard drops are pretty shitty. If you even get one sometimes. That dude just did not care about me walking by. He must see a lot of green dinosaurs on his patrol. He's just like, eh, just another green dinosaur. Whatever. But all right, so here we are at the dam. In the front chest, we've got some blue mail. Hey, all right. Some defense, and it gives us a nice, cool blue Yoshi. I like that. Certainly make the walk to Ice Cave, or Ice Rod Cave, a little bit less perilous. The crabs will only be doing one heart of damage instead of two. Under the water, we've got a piece of candy. Nope. Uh, let's let's go for fish rescue here. Come on. So we are in kind of lackluster position for both money and uh, and equipment. Dope. Excuse me. Let's see if the fish gives us like 
200 bucks or something. That would be great. It won't. It won't, but we'll see what we get anyways. Ah, uh, four bomb. Four bomb popper. Could have used that after I used this, but that's right. Good to know all the same. Oh, alright. Oh. <laughs> oh no, and then I went outside. Oh shit. That doesn't reset him, does it? I think it does. Uh, dope! Alright, okay, well. Alright. Oh, alright. <laughs> uh. sucker with this last one here. Ah, oh, come on, you little bitch. <laughs> mm. What? How did that miss him? Ah, oh, fuck a duck. Ah, that sucks. Alright, well... <sighs> Crap. Well, that sucks. I need magic. I need magic or more bombs. <laughs> Oh, we're not. Oh, I don't even know why, why I'm going over here then. Because I can't get that. Well, uh, hmm. I, I mean, I don't have the money to buy bombs. I don't have a good source of money. I don't have bombs to get into uh, Sahasrila's closet there. So I just have to rely on the 50 50 bombs out in front of the, the grove here. That kind of sucks. Boy, that's a. Uh, Unfortunate. Those guys did drop some. You know what? I'm gonna go up to the village then, because I think I can at least get some money out of that hut as well. Let's speed this up a little bit. Boy, that was unfortunate. I guess it's my fault for accidentally going out of the cave that one time. Let's give Moldorm Cave one more go here. <laughs> Since that is a lot of items and I cannot really afford to leave anything behind right now. Shot. All right. Good thing we're not leaving that behind. Tower, small key, another heart container, sure, and another bee in a bottle. Hooray! Well, hookshot is nice. That alone makes it worth it. That is some good value there.
Very little money to our names. Very little. I, I mean, I guess Hookshot is a slightly offensive weapon, just not terribly universal, unfortunately. Let's see. to Skull Woods. Woohoo. Totally worth the trip around. I guess I, our best player right now is probably Sahashrila and a little bit into Eastern. Guarantee us five items. Terribly like going to Eastern without a bow, but sometimes, especially in Key Sanity, you don't really have a choice. Small key to pod, 20 bucks. <laughs> and a compass to T-Rock, thanks. Thanks, Sahasha. Alright. Green Pendant is in desert. Alright. Well, that's something. Not terribly useful, but it's something. Kind of a lackluster start. We did get the fire rod out of Kakariko, and we did get the hook shot out of Mini Moldorm Cave there. But uh, other than that, not terribly exciting. First chest there. It's one of our oh that's right, yeah, one of our six I think. <sighs> Since Key Sanity is now taking the three. The big key, etc. Dumping them in as oh alright, I can go this way now. The hook shot. Key to desert. Interesting. Okay. It's like seeing a nice big key. Regardless of where it's from, since we are probably going to need the majority of them. all the time. Make sure I get all of them now. <laughs> this is like, uh, this would be unfortunate if I miss the throw. I have to save and quit out of Eastern, it'd be very embarrassing. A burrito to Thieves Town. Technically that's all the chests that are in logic right now, but we can get one more. Arrows requires a bomb, thanks. What a good hint. Get one more after a brief trip through some dark rooms here. So then that seems to suggest to me that they want us to go into front of escape, which is uh, exciting. given our pretty big lack of offensive weaponry is uh, going to be kind of exciting in and of itself because we need, let's see, how, how many... Let's see. It's 
small key to pod. Okay, so not even anything of value that would get us further. Hmm. Alright, well, well, that leaves Agena as well. Do we have... I think we might just barely have enough bombs to clear front side of escape, because we'll need two for the first blue guard, and two for the second, and one for the green one on the approach. So we need a minimum of five. We've got six, and we've got the hookshot to do some stuns, so that's, that's going to have to be enough. And if nothing turns up in front side escape, then we're off to Agona. Between these four items, there's got to be something that unlocks something else. Oops. Well, this is a book that gets us into gets us into desert. <laughs> Um, which is good, because we got the desert big key as well, so that's at least something. Not terribly exciting of a something, but it's something. Oh, and there's some magic. Alright, that's better, actually. That's much better. Oh, actually, I probably do want to save my magic a little bit, though, because... Um, with this fire rod, we are technically within logic to get Dark Cross, um, which sucks. I don't like that, but it is what it is, and we're just going to have to go with it. Oh, crap. Okay, well, <laughs> there's our last bomb. please for 20 bucks gee thanks gee thanks all right well let's try for dark cross with only the hook shot really to guide us that's not going to be terribly fun to do it is in logic because of the fire rod, so let's give it a go. I don't know exactly where I'm going here, so okay. That should do it, I think. I thought. No. There we go. Okay. Well, maybe? There we go. Wanted to find where that was. There we go, some bombs. Nice gate pepper drop there. Okay. There we go. 20 bucks. <laughs> 20 bucks in Dark Cross. Boo. That bomb drop was probably more important off the snakes anyways. Okay, to desert we go.
By Hagana, he's got more bombs. Thanks, I guess. All right, so there's going to be something either on the ledge or in Desert Palace itself that uh, gets us somewhere. Perhaps a glove, a glove and a lamp to get up the mountain, or a flute to get up the mountain, or the flippers to get over to Zora. bucks on the ledge. Not terribly exciting. What's another good bee in the bottle, though? So we can sell that for a hundred bucks if we go back to the village. either, so we're going to be locked out of at least two. Hey, there we go. There's a flute. That's something. Let's check what's on the torch real quick here. A burrito. Cash is inspect the rock. Okay, so we already know that that's bunk. Oh, but we can get over to uh, East Death Mountain, though. So that's something. Big chest. <laughs> okay, well. Flute's nice. That's fast travel. the mountain and we already know that that hint said what was it, cash inspect the rock well if it's big cash we're probably gonna want to grab it but knowing our luck it's gonna be like a big 20 or something Either way, it's gonna be like... Oh wait, actually, since we're here... Here. <laughs> Give me my 100 bucks. They're literally right there, and that B doesn't really do much for us anyways. I guess it would be a, a method of attack or something, but... Yeah, there's the hole. Bats. Should be near the exit right here, okay. Good. And we get a burrito. The first one. Step in there real quick to get a refill, though. Well, still plenty dangerous. And six hearts in blue mail.
Ah, let's see. Oh man, up top is the lamp, so we're probably gonna be seeing that's just a fiver in there. Probably gonna be seeing mirror before too long, I hope. So I would really like that lamp. And I'll also get us up to Hera. But no keys to Hera, that's gonna be less useful. Keys we can. Too terribly many of them. small key to swamp. Fifty bucks. Finally a sword. Twenty bucks. A hammer. <laughs> and a big key. To dark pals. All right. So a sword and a hammer that puts uh, Hera on our plate here, as well as Spiral Cave. Right? We can check Ether Tab while we're here. Wait a minute, didn't recognize that uh, hint immediately. Okay, so nothing but a compass on ether tab. So not terribly useful there. Small key here, what do we got? Oh, that's a, a small key to Hera, apparently. Okay. Cool. on that one, so I guess we're headed to the basement for a bit. Oh, it popped off of it before it could go off. Nice. Well, no matter. Here. Oh wow, and a glove in the basement of Hera. Phew, that's kind of shitty. <laughs> that kind of sucks. But alright, I'm glad we got it. We didn't leave it behind.
Hmm, I guess that does give us back an escape now. If we had... Well, we do have the big key to desert, so we could go finish that off. Oh, it is the green pendant, too. Cave, we've got, oh my goodness, the Moon Pearl. Alright, well, that's Dark World. I think we didn't leave Spiral Cave behind. Wow. Lots of one offs that we, uh, very smart not to leave alone. Buckos, one bucko, and another sword. Nice. Okay. Things are looking up a little bit here. Thinking about doing a, a different route there, but since we don't have Titan's Mitts yet, I think I'll stick with this one. Not really a big fan of doing Dark World South without some manner of either getting back to the Light World or having the Mitts so I could do the whole thing in one go. Skullwoods right away, I think, right? It's a crystal, which is a good idea. You don't need the big key to just polish it off. Do we have any small keys for it? We've got one small key. So that's probably good enough, actually, to do it this way. Box. Time for a refill there. Not terribly useful otherwise. Okay, well, it's Zora money and then some, which is good to worry about being too frugal anymore.
back here. Boo. after grabbing that one to get some more health. <laughs> 20 bucks! Hooray! just freeze these fuckers, right? Oh no, gets rid of them all right. Nice. Oh, this was a magic jar, wasn't it? No? Okay, Mothula fight shouldn't be too bad. Not my most favorite fight to do with only Master Sword and not half magic, but I should be able to manage this okay. Well, if I could actually hit my fire rod shots, it'd be better. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, well. Not too bad. Oh, for a piece of candy, oh boy. And I think we just left the one item behind. But, that's Crystal 1. Still missing quite a few items, though. Prefer another sword, would prefer many, many other things before we even consider against Ganon, but... Well, we'll see what we can do. So it might be worth... Yeah, it's probably not worth checking the pyramid just yet. Ledge and hit it over into Village of Outcasts. We can dip into the front side of Thieves at the very least. We might actually have the. We do have the small key. We don't have the big key though. So. Oh wait, so then we can't do the second key. Ah, uh, there's a small key up there. Do we have the key? We don't. Alright, well. Shoot. <laughs> well, shoot. That's no good. Ice Palace small key? I think we've got two of those now, yeah? Oh no, just the one. Alright, well, one is really all we need. Little 
shutter. Third sword. Excellent. Excellent, excellent. Oh, Master Sword Ganon tonight. Alright, so it's just gonna be the first four here in Thieves. So do not have a big key. Shield. exciting again, but... <laughs> okay, I was kind of curious what the Yoshi's Dark World form was going to be there. It's funny. Okay, so let's see. That's one, two, three, four items remaining in Thieves. What does it look like? Oh, it's a pendant as well. Not terribly disappointing. We've got a 5 6 er in T Rock. Another 5 6 er in Ice. Swamp is a normal crystal. As is Pod. Okay. Quite a few burritos, apparently, that we've picked up already. Samaria, though. Excellent. Samaria is a good find. Okay. Doesn't unlock anything immediately, but once we get up to, say, Meyer or T Rock. G Tower, of course. Ooh, we got a big key to go. Oh, there's the G Tower big key. All right. A little bit concerning that we found that pretty early. If this ends up being like a small key to pot, this ends up being a, uh, a zero crystal Ganon's tower. Might lead us to somewhere there. Okay, there's the flippers. We just need the mirror now for swamp. It's a few more things we can do. Okay, we'll stay out of pod for the time being. We've only got, what, two? We've got three small keys and the big key. All right, all right, that's not too bad, I guess. Still, probably rather not go over there. More than once if we can avoid it. Let's just check, check on uh, Pyramid. We can check Crystals for Ganon here. Uh, 
Uh, ten arrows on pyramid. Not terribly exciting. Five crystals to beat. All right, so slightly above average. A little bit not great. But we've already got one taken care of. We can probably do. Can we do any more? We don't have the, the bow, so we can't finish off Pod or Eastern. Uh, desert, we could conceivably do, although that's a green pendant. Terra, if we had the big key. Everything else we're pretty much locked out of, so that's a, that's a no go on many fronts, unfortunately. Stay out of pod for now. Now we've got all pretty much all the flipper checks we can do. Hobo and Waterfall and Zora. But a single ass rupee on the island. open to us technically. We've got Brian and everything that we need to get to it. Well, he's got a key to Misery Mire. Terribly impressive there. Hmm. Okay. Well. Let's see what the rest of the flipper checks gets us and then maybe go for remainder of deserts. Well, actually no, I can't do desert, can I? Because I don't have the, um, the big key. Oh, I do have the big key. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't have the gloves before, that's why I couldn't finish it off. Burrito to Meyer. Five bucks. Woo! Ledge is 20 bucks. Exciting there, so we'll see what 500 bucks gets us. Blue bottle. Alright, sure, I guess. Not terribly exciting and nothing to grant us any progress, but it is... it's a thing. It's definitely a thing. We don't have the desert small key to it now, so this will only be one item, but I guess the second one as well because of the green pendant. After which we can flute over to five, turn, well, flute to four, visit Sahash, turn in the green pendant, and then go to pod, since that's going to be the next best area we can hit here. What 
expect the mirror soon so we can get a lamp, but boy howdy, they've not been extremely kind to us in giving us the mirror yet. Huh? Nearly an hour in. Twenty bucks in the green pen, boy. Thanks, Lanmo. Really kind and generous of you. I do have a potion, right? So if I wanted to glitch into the right side of pot, I could do that. Wouldn't be a bad idea, actually. Uh, 20 bucks, boo! That really doesn't leave me a whole lot of other places, really. Just Spike Cave and then whatever we can logically get in pod, which isn't too terribly much. We've already got three small keys, which is good. So that gives us, like, what? One, two, three, four, maybe five? That's the number of small keys that we've got. But... We're going to get ourselves at least two more with glitching into the right. In theory, I could probably handle the dark rooms and go take care of... Oh, no, wait. I can't do... Um, I can't even get to King of the Sword. I don't have a bow. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. But that's the breaks. Well, there's the mirror. <laughs> and that gets us into Swamp, I believe. So that's uh, it's quite a, an important mirror to grab. Gets us into Swamp and over to Misery Mire. Oh no, we can't get over to Misery Mire. That's right, because we don't have the mints yet. But it does give us Bombos tablets, and Cave South of the Grove, and Cave of the Graveyard. And the uh, King's Tomb as well. And that also gets us our. Oh shit. That's right. Uh, also gets us the lamp. It's gonna be fun and cool. Uh, go like this though. What do we get for our troubles to 
little bit of money. And a big key to T-Rock. All right, well, not terribly useful right now. Can we hit this with... Can. Nice. Okay. Hundred bucks there. I'm going to skip those two for now. Go to the back. Get us, what, one, two... Possibly three? Oh, I suppose these... These chests in the dark room are technically logic, though, because of fire rock. So one, two, three, four, and I'll have a small key left over. All right. Um, and red <laughs> rupee. What do you do? Okay, then I guess we'll hit the other. Two chests on the way out, that's fine. Burrito to desert. And the last two that are in logic here will be the fall down chest and then the center chest. And then I guess we're going to swamp. So that's many items, and we've got all the gear to get all of it, so it's something. And also a crystal. That'll be crystal, too. Compass to Hera. Dope. Find a medallion, though. Uh, no. Well, actually, I guess it doesn't matter. Let's see, one, two, three, I believe four items left in... Um, pod there? Swamp here, we can bust a move on over and check Bombo's tablets. We'll kind of make our way back northward, get caves south of Grove there. Hey, there's the mitts in the first chest in Swamp. Wow. Okay, that opens up just about everything else now. And I gotta pick our battles. Ice Rod. Interesting. We really just need a bow now, and I think we'll be good to go. A little bit low on health. It's kind of concerning, but that's alright. And whatever medallions, I guess we need to get into Meyer and or T-Rock. We know both of those are crystals. Both of them at this point should be full clearable with the equipment I've got. I get the lamp.
thieves. Oh, right, I guess we do still need <laughs> a bunch of big keys. Uh, not the one for swamp, not the one for ice. But, uh... It's two more crystals, we're gonna need two more after that, I think, too. Think about which ones we can do. Do we have the big key to... Okay, we do have the big key to T-Rock. We're missing a, a few small keys, though. I think we need three at the minimum. And if we route it properly, we can get through. there. Uh, can we do anything else? If we knew how to do Hera Pot, we could do Hera. But I've tried the lineup for that several times. And I, just, I don't know. There's something about it I don't get. On top of not probably being able to execute well enough to make it a viable strategy for me. Oh well. Kind of banking on G Tower being less than five crystals. <laughs> Honestly, having five crystals for Ganon himself is uh, not the greatest, but kind of puts a cap on what I need to do, anyways. So if we end up getting six or seven for G Tower itself, that's going to be a gigantic pain in the ass. Oh, it's the big key to Hera. All right, cool. That puts another one on the map for us. there to get the lamp anyway, so that's probably in pretty good position. We don't have a big key to swamp, do we? No, okay, that's fine. Don't need it, necessarily. is needing a bow. Possibly Bombos. That'll be just about it. There goes our bow. Compass to Skullwood. Woo! Very least, we should have a pretty easy time with Argus here. Tempered. Tempered Sword, one swing will take care of each puff. I believe two spins for final form of Argus, right? Choose not to use the rods. Well, now we've really got our choice of places to go. Might not be a bad idea just to head over to ice. Honestly. So that'll 
be another crystal in and of itself. A fair few items. I tried to do Icebreaker in Ice, and I do have the possibility of doing it with Samaria, but... Just not good with that execution either, so we'll probably just do the the normal bomb jump to call it a day. That's a nice, easy third crystal. Do we have the. We don't have the big key, so we'd be leaving an item behind regardless. That's alright. That's right, I think just these one-offs is fine. to our 10th part. This is about the cutoff for when I explicitly go for hell. So that'll be nice. T-Rock, actually, that's kind of important. Still need the T-Rock big key, I believe, so... Oh, do we already have it? No, we have already got it. Okay, so we just need a couple more T-Rock small keys, though. That's what I was thinking of. Or maybe just one more, and then we can leave behind an item there. Though, so I'm going to have to watch my magic usage a little bit. be a little bit short on magic? Mm, shit. I might be one thing short on magic here. It's gonna be unfortunate if true. Well, maybe I can 
get lucky on a magic drop or something. Eh, okay, I think we're good then. Just in case, I suppose we can grab that one. And that one. Alright, now we're good. We're definitely good on magic. Just need to make our way around without doing anything stupid. Go for backup fairy just in case. It's nice and cool. Thanks for that. But there's crystal number three. And it's a five sixer, so that's good. Um, we don't know what the other. Oh no, the other five sixer is T Rock. Which should be completable, actually. So we might be. Might be beneficial to go take care of that. Oh, I forgot to do Bombo's tablet after Swamp there. Oops. Hey, it's right in the water. How you doing? Good to see ya. Uh, okay, so I can't do that, can't do that. We could go over to Meyer. I should go up and grab my lamp. Sooner rather than later. Should be able to complete Hera while I'm up there, too, which... We don't know that's that's a crystal yet or not. Uh, yeah, okay. But we do know that Meyer is a crystal, and that should be clearable. Between Meyer and T Rock, that'll be five. It's the minimum that we know that we need. Two small keys for T Rock. One, two, three, four. Okay, we're gonna need at least one more before we can blaze through T Rock, so. And we're still looking for a bow besides. So maybe not the best idea to go up and do that just yet. But I'm gonna go grab the lamp, anyways. And we can do Hera while we're up there. leaves into. Oh, right, that's the back of the old man's cave. Need to go in there in a while. <laughs> Alright, so this will be the lamp. Did we check? Okay, we did check ether tab. That was nothing. Should have. Okay, we do have the Hera big key, so this should be an easy win. So three more items. Hopefully the bow is one of them. Put us at pretty much all the items that we need. Although I wouldn't be opposed to finding silver. Silver arrows. Oops. Ah, oh hey, there 
we go, there's a bow. Excellent. Won't buy someone friendly yet. We already have the G-Tower big key. I think, actually, who was it with the G-Tower big key? <laughs> I don't remember. Uh, but we already have it, so that's, that's the important bit there. Oh, I think it was, um... Was it the dude in the mini Mulgarn cave? I don't know, it was, it was a while ago. But we already do have it. Alright, so suck shit, Mulgarn. I hope you've got a crystal on you. Our container isn't bad. Ah, it's the blue pendant. Boo! Alright, unfortunate. Unfortunate, but that's all right. Got the bow out of here, which is good. Uh, I guess we can do East Dark Death Mountain. That's quite a pile of of items there. Um, let's do Spike Cave first, though, since we're just right here for it. So Kane O'Brien, hammer, etc. Pedestal seed. I don't know that this can be a pedestal seed anymore. We really have everything that we need. Well, that's not true. It could be a big key that we need on the pedestal, which would be really bad. I suppose I could bust a move on over there and check just to be sure, but nah, that wouldn't be very exciting, would it? Uh, Alright, let's head over to East Dark Death Mountain. So that'll be, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, six items? There's any items? Well, hmm. Bombos could be required for either T Rock or Meyer, honestly. Yeah. Bad luck if that's the case since we've already got Ether and Quack. But, you know, I wouldn't put it past the Rando to do that to us. Rando's gonna Rando, after all. But, we'll be checking one shortly. Who knows, maybe Hookshot Cave will have Bombos in it anyways. It does tend to have a far greater chance of having the medallion for T-Rock in it, <laughs> I've, I've noticed. Or if that's just the item placement algorithm at work. Well, there's the last bottle. Pretty filled with blue goo. Thanks, I guess. It's another safety. Might actually be necessary and helpful if we're doing Silverless Ganon. Alright, let's check the T-Rock really quick. What do we need? Quack. Vanilla Quack. Alright. So, Bombos isn't off the table just yet, but that's one of the two. Another big old heart container. Oh, goodness. And a fire shield. Okay, so not terribly exciting. I wonder if I should go into T Rock. I really don't want to think about this for a second. We can probably go do Meyer. Oh, but I should check. While I'm up here, I should check uh, how many crystals we need to get into G Tower. Because if it's three or less, we can go in there right now. Might not be a bad idea. It is not three or less. What is it? Five. All right, well, we've got a five and a five. Kind of unusual. Five crystals to get into the tower, five crystals to beat Ganon. All right. We really just need two more then. Oh, fucking squ are you kidding me? Bops me out of the way, the damn duck. Alright. Uh, okay, so we know Pod. 
Which we need a small, we need one small key to. Oh, and the big key to. So we can't really do pod. Uh, I don't think we have the big key to Eastern yet. Do we have the big key to Meyer? Hmm. I don't know that we have enough keys to finish off what we got. Because Steve's is the last pendant. We did Swamp and Skull. We don't have the big key to Meyer. We do have the big key to Pod, but we need one more small key. Um... I guess Eastern would be the probably the last one. Yeah, we know well, we know Eastern and Meyer are now the other crystals. So Eastern and Meyer are probably our best bets, but we need big keys for both of those. Yeah, that kind of sucks. All right, well we can finish the Dark World Overworld loop. That'll be one, two, three, four, five items. I guess. Maybe six. Without potentially putting us into a dungeon that we can't clear. Then we've also got Meyer Shed Checkerboard Cave, so that's an extra three. There's the pod small key that we needed. So we make progress by going back there. Of course. So really, we just need. Oh no, do I not? I do have the pod big key. Okay, so like now I need an eastern big key or a Meyer big key. That would really set us up here. And then I might consider just not bothering with anything else. Seeing if we can complete with what we got. Which we should be able to. It would be a bit of a pain in the ass, but we should be able to do that with the gear we got. That's nothing there. Blacksmith, Cave South of Grove, Stumpy we already did, right? Yeah. Cave South of Grove, Purple Chest, Peg Cave, Meyer Shed, Checkerboard Cave, etc, etc. In hopes that we find the keys that we need. Same card to you. Even though we are quite comfortable with the 13 hearts that we had, having a 14th is not a problem either. tablet just been around flew away <laughs> I 
Yeah, uh, yeah. The song is pretty funky, isn't it? Really good. There's certain songs on this playlist that are quite excellent. All of them are good, but some of them really stand out. Uh, okay, so Purple Chest was nothing. Oh, I didn't do South the Grove either. Well, that's stupid. Uh, I don't suppose... Well, I suppose we could just loot back, right? Although, I'm curious if... Is that still gonna be there? Oh, yeah. It's, okay. Oops. Excuse me. God, I didn't do South the Grove yet. Probably shouldn't have looted away with the old deep purple chest. That's right. Okay, so what? We can do pod? Finish off pod. That'll only get us one item. Fortunately. So we require another small key to get the other three items in there. To Meyer, but not complete it without the big key. Huh? Well? Eastern? Eastern or Meyer? Eastern. Perfect. Okay, we should be good to go. Uh, this is nice. This is nice. We'll be looking at a silverless cannon, which sucks, but. That's right. We can make that happen. This will be a, a real fun back to back pod and Eastern. Despite already being in both of them once. But we'll at least clean it up real nice. Means we won't be going into T-Rock at all. <laughs> That's fun. Uh, Meyer will similarly remain unentered. Back at Thieves Town is going to be... Left alone. Yeah, looks like everything else is pretty well good. So, we might be looking at a sub 2 here. That'd be real good. That would be real fun and cool. We need to conserve the small key, so we will not be going in the front door. Probably about the same amount of time to do this, honestly. King Helmus will be one item, Armos will be one item, well, Armos and the chest will be uh, two items together. There's a small chance we could find silvers on the way up. Oops. But, feels unlikely. Considering how many items are still out there, feels unlikely we're gonna find... Silver is just randomly and one of the ones we happen to pass. But I hope springs eternal and all that. Oh, oh, oh. 
Easy peasy. Alright, see you in hell, Helmsor. <laughs> I'll be crystal four and one more item. Small key. <laughs> Hooray. The misery mire. I don't give a shit about that. Eastern, take care of Armos, grab the two items left here, and then we'll we will be off to G Tower. Take care of Jerk Wizard second, and then finally on to Ganon himself. that room up 50% of the time. But sometimes I can nail it fine, like that time. Right, this is really just on my way. Let's see what we get. Might be good for another heart. I was gonna try to quick kill, <laughs> but apparently I'm not very good at that. So I'll just do this thing all day. Small key to ice, which we don't care about. And there's crystal five. All the crystals we're gonna care about today. Yeah, that that room with all the skeletons, the invisible skeletons, like, it's pretty rare that I can get just the minimum of two. Most often it's three, occasionally it's four, <laughs> when I really fuck it up. Oops, I didn't need to go back into Dark World there. Uh, but yeah, it's definitely not an easy room to do. Alright, up to G-Tower take care of some business, I and mean, then we should probably get some more potions before we go to uh, Ganon himself, since I'm going to be doing Silverless. I do have one blue potion, which is nice, but without half magic, that's still a little bit of a scary fight for me. Rock will remain 
the seal tonight. Fuck you, T-Rock. be a pretty easy sub to so be able to go right up through the gauntlet unless I totally fuck up uh, totally fuck up the game fight which is definitely possible items on the way here, so if we want to get lucky and get silver arrows, or even butter sword would be cool too, maybe even red mail, that'd be real nice, but very much doubt RNG will be that much in our favor. Either way, we're looking at sub 2 probably pretty easily. So terrible using the rod, I'm landing up. More magic. Okay, well, we should still be able to pull this off. by with this amount of magic, but don't want to glitch the door and don't want to do other unfortunate things. Just take that a little slow. Okay, so here's two chances here. Nope. <laughs> and nope. Wow. Worthless. third chance here, that's right, I forgot about this. I always forget about this. 
give it a go. Hey, half magic! That's pretty useful. <laughs> At this point, that's actually very useful. Incredible. Oh, oh he gets a bop on me. Jerk. <laughs> All right. Wouldn't be rando with at least without at least one Moldor Bob. Validation has ah uh, twenty buckets. Boo. That would have been the best best spot to get silvers. Would have been. set up there. Wow. Shitty. Extremely shitty. Right, that's better. And I fuck it up. <laughs> So with half magic and a blue potion and a backup fairy, this might not be that bad. I'm gonna go grab the fairy out of the tree beforehand, but we should be good with what we got. Phase four is gonna suck, as always, with just tempered spins, but should be good otherwise, probably. Okay, so, Silverless Cannon, not great, doesn't feel good, but it's what we gotta deal with, so that's what we're gonna deal with. Oh, what? Okay, excuse me. I didn't go that far forward. Alright, well, there was a backup for me. <laughs> did its job, I guess. Enough for phase three. Yeah. Ooh, boy. Got it close. <laughs> I did find the arrows in Misery Mire. Oh, no, actually, no, I didn't. I never went to Misery Mire. Thank you. <laughs> I didn't get him that time, did I? I think get a third chance at this, am I? at a time here. I can, ne I can never quite time it out properly for a triple. 
just be happy not to take a bop from a... Oh, I'm not even gonna get a double that time. Be happy not to take a bop from him and have to restart. Oh, nice. Wow, okay, that went faster than I thought. It was tempered spins and not uh, not master sword spins. Cool. So yeah, this is a very comfortable sub two. Oh, Fifty-one twelve. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad at all. Well, prepare to fast forward. See the ending stats and then we'll call it. Cool, interesting. So, five crystals to get into the tower, five crystals to beat Ganon. Had kind of a slow start. There wasn't all that much in Kakariko. We did get Fire Rod, and then we got uh, Hook Shot in Mini Moldorm Cave. And other than that, it wasn't really that much of an open seed. It was pretty linear for most of it. But, uh,. Oh, that felt pretty good. Like a, we made a a good go of things out of a, kind of a not great seed. But I guess we get to see what's on pedestal eventually. Just a compass on pedestal. <laughs> that kind of sucks. <laughs> uh, boy. peek at the final stats here and then we'll wrap for today a little bit early i'd say so i usually consider key sanity seeds you know two and a half hours three hours at worst at this point now but that we hit a sub two is pretty pretty fancy and cool Sort of was pretty late too, 30 minutes in. Boots and flute were pretty nearby. Mirror's about an hour. We had Tempered Sword before we faced most bosses, so that's good. All three of those deaths were intentional. Death warps, all that. Pretty good collection rate. Solid sub two thirds there. Yeah, all right. It certainly helped that we turned on the quick item swap on the instant menu too, and spent a lot less time fucking about in the menu. But pretty good. Pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that one. Okay, so that'll do it for today. Uh, next stream is tomorrow night, 7pm CST, Sunday Long Plays. We're gonna give Noida another go. <laughs> Still have yet to notch a win uh, in that game, but you know, we'll, we'll keep throwing ourselves at it. Eventually we'll get one. Eventually we'll get one, and it'll feel good. But that'll do it for today. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.